Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Paula Zem here and today we're doing a reading for the last week of February, 22nd to the 28th of February, okay? So we're starting today with the tarot and then we're going to follow up with some guidance on the Archangels and the Oracle of the Fairies, okay? So Taurus, let's see what do we have for you and we're starting here with the Hangman, okay? What do we need to see from the other side? Okay, what do we need to let go? Is there something that you're holding on to? Is there something? Okay, we have the hermit as well. Okay, definitely there is something here. Could even be some Pisces energy here. Okay, and okay, let's take one more card. One more card for Taurus. One more card. What do we have here for Taurus? Can we take one more card, please? Should I take it? Should I take it? I will. No. And the High Priestess. Okay. Now let's clarify these three cards the Hanging Man, the Hermit, the High Priestess. Okay, Taurus. A lot of uh, very. Um, of slow energy here okay it feels like it's an you're very inwards this time okay very inward this week could be the week before could be the week after okay could be up to two weeks before after you could be already in this energy okay so let's clarify this hanging man hermit and high priestess for Taurus. Now, please remember this is a general reading, okay? So it might not resonate with everyone here. Uh, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest for some other tarot, okay? Don't force the message to be incorporated in your energy, in your life, okay? If you wish to have a reading specially for you, do check the description box below and book a private reading where you will be specifically for you okay so let's get on with this then five of wands nine of cups and knight of coins okay now taurus hanging man five of wands okay there's definitely here a wake-up call okay there's a big wake-up call here as in there's some situation in your life right now that it feels very conflicted with something, okay? Oh, for some reason, I feel this is a lot about um, business and personal life at the same time, okay? It's like you, you feel stagnant about something, okay? I can't even talk here, okay? It's like you really have... No idea what to do, how to move forward from this, okay? So, I just feel this is a wake-up call, okay? To see things in a different way, okay? Sometimes we're too focused in one way and we cannot see the rest of it, okay? We cannot see the other side of the coin, so definitely it's curious because he's dropped some coins here and I just told you, see the other side of the coin, okay? So... Are you holding yourself from something, you know, because he's, he's dropping the mask and you see this clock here, it's stagnant, it's stopped, it's like it's not moving, okay? Um, we also have here the Hermit and the Nine of Cups, okay? There's really this um, feeling that you want to bring abundance into your life, but for this to happen, I feel that you need to go into this Hermit mode, and what does that mean? I'm not saying... Pack your bag, go up the mountains, and just hide yourself in a cave. No, that's not what I'm saying here right now. What I'm saying is, is there something that you're doing that you could be doing better? Okay, is there something that you're doing that you could turn around a little bit more inwards and forget about what everyone around you is saying and focus on that, okay? 
always focusing on what you want what outcome you want okay what vibration you want okay it's so important to understand this the vibration that you pass outside it's the vibration it's the energy around you okay so why not look into how can you do things better okay even if it's a step by step even if it's just get one thing as better as you can and then move to the next one okay it could take a little bit more time but in the end of the day it's completely worth it okay and we also have here the high priestess okay knowledge beautiful wisdom all answers inside you you are so wise so intellectual okay with this knight of cups all right so maybe you're actually fighting a little bit with your mind okay maybe you are actually receiving some messages but you are against those messages okay there could be some issues financially that you don't want to deal with is there something hidden that you're not seeing so it's like it's very foggy around okay Terrace, i feel very much here that you need to disconnect from the world go within and get your answers okay forget about what everyone is seeing around you go in get your answers take your steps carefully okay let's get here some advice from the archangels okay for taurus Taurus, 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 February, last week of February 2021, what other messages can we send to Taurus in this reading, okay, okay, Crystal clear intentions. Once again, Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith, okay? Focus on your energy. I think I just told you that. <laughs> focus on your energy, okay? Because you know what do you want to attract, okay? so work definitely on that okay be very clear clear your mind for anything around as i said clear your mind from everything around okay courage beautiful archangel ariel be courageous and stand up for your beliefs okay you have the knowledge you have the strength you have the courage you have the bravery okay you have all the power inside you okay she's an archangel of nature of protecting animals okay she's very courageous very brave so she knows exactly she's creative on the way she sees and acts upon things okay if you can see here in the back you have a lion um two lions okay in the back so this would be something i would even feel like this is a strength card okay you have all the strength inside you and you are ready to go okay you are ready to send up for your beliefs and what you want to express into the world okay and then we have moon cycles archangel haniel notice how the moon affects your energy manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles okay archangel haniel such a beautiful intuitive energy okay couldn't go better with this high priestess over the moon okay see how the moon cycles affect you okay of course we know in the full moon get rid of everything you don't want the new moon okay work on your manifestations on what you want to achieve what you want to attract so definitely get some assistance as well from the moon okay definitely and really ask upon because 
there's so much energy around here okay all i can see here is that you're so strong you are you have the power inside you but at this moment it tends to feel like you are somewhat vulnerable with all the chit chats around you okay and that is the issue it's not inside you it's everything around you okay and now let's just finish with the oracle of the fairies and see what other messages the fairies can tell us okay we have light okay the fairy queens of light comes to show you that we can always bright the dark of a situation of something okay so again the light is inside you temptation are you in denial about unhealthy habits perhaps one that makes you feel guilty this fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation whatever it's was okay so whatever comes the temptation whatever it's all that chat around you you have the power to just remove all that from you okay i want to take one more please so that Taurus is fully advised here i feel we need one more card here okay it's beautiful to see how the cards connect with your power okay because you are very strong you have your real power okay you have all this courage inside you but for some reason it's just something is in the way okay and it's like you can't see properly as in you can't get your messages follow your intuition properly okay so let me take one more card here i will take another card Okay, because I feel we need another card. Journey. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. Now, of course, this could be in relation to traveling around, okay, or even a new journey, okay? The end of a cycle to the beginning of another one. So, be ready for change what i would say in this card is be open to change okay be open to make a decision and follow up with it okay because that's what you normally do and we definitely want you to go back into that all right so taras this is what i have for you i do hope you enjoy your reading once again i ask you to like and subscribe to my channel and you will be one of the first people to receive some notifications about my readings if this reading resonates with you and you feel that some other Taurus or other person that have a significant Taurus in their birth chart would benefit from it, please share this video with them. And until we see you next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.